send you, I think, as far as film skill goes, we're ready to launch. We were video chatting with Jeremy Norris, who is the uh, producer of our new web series based off of Anamnesis. So I posted the Anamnesis on uh, Vimeo, actually. Jeremy or somebody working for film skill that happened to see it. Jeremy liked Anamnesis so much that he wanted to develop a web series based off of it. Um, so basically for the last few months we've been working with him uh, developing an idea for web series that could be based off Anamnesis and writing and rewriting and figuring out uh, the first four episodes. And so for the foreseeable future we're going to just be attacking this and it's going to be basically as big as any of the things we've ever done, if not bigger. There are quite a few scenes that take place on and around the beach. So we're trying to find a beach that is secluded because we don't want there to be any other people on the beach. Uh, but also accessible so that we can bring our film crew and all our stuff there to film. Hi, I'm Brian Patrick Monaghan. I'm playing Dr. Spalding. Uh, today we were doing a little bit of a read-through kind of first rehearsal dig into the text and get some context so everybody's on the same page before we start shooting so we can get to work and make the most out of our time when we are actually shooting. Because yeah, there's scenes that like, like Michael wrote from the beginning that like, I basically want him to be the leader on because he knows it the best and there's vice versa, so. So for Anamnesis, Alex and I uh, have decided to co-direct the four episodes because we, we co-write, co-wrote all four of them and um, so much of both of us is in all the episodes that it didn't make sense for certain scenes that Alex had a specific vision for, for me to try to do and vice versa. It'll kind of force us to do a lot more preparation ahead of production because we just have to be on the same page with at least one other person. But basically, from here on out, whatever one of us says applies to both of us. It's been discussed. It's, it's been discussed. discussed. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> We are back in Santa Barbara for another location scouting day with uh, Terrence, our DP. This is one of two beaches we're going to be filming at in the web series. There's one directly behind the beach house we're filming at, down in the ocean side by San Diego. And this is another beach we want to film at because it's just so dreamlike. It's nice to come back just for us to like remember what it, the like 3D space of it is like because we took lots of pictures. And so now that we've like seen the thing and gone through sort of like how we want to shoot it, on the page now we can come here and see how we're actually going to try to achieve it and where like literally figure out exactly where the camera will be and where all the props and all the people and just lets us plan much more precisely than working off the pictures. In the valley over that way. Pick you up right there. So this is a place where uh, Sean, who is a, an expert lucid dreamer, he kind of wills this place into being uh, in his dreams. It's, it's kind of like his safe place. The shot we had was sort of like a big sort of epic sweeping. We come up from behind him and see uh, what he's looking at and the sun is setting and like the colors changing. And so we got here and we did, Terrence used his little app that shows where the sun like rises and sets and it sets in completely the wrong location for what we wanted the shot to be. So we are now planning on doing the shot at sunrise, which means we have to get here before sunrise and uh, figure that out, get it all set up to execute it as soon as the sun rises. So there are about 18 shots in the series that have visual effects that we have never done before. So today is about setting up versions of those shots and basically testing to see if we can do it and how to do it the best way possible. <laughs> we wanted to have a transition where he kind of starts out in his room, like where he's actually sleeping. 
because that's an experience people have sometimes. Their dream body kind of separates out from their real body. <laughs> and then we're trying to figure out how to transition from there into a dream space apart from his room. And so one idea we had was he's going to be kind of essentially spinning. Um, but as he's spinning, the environment's going to change around him. And so he's going to land in a new environment when he finishes spinning. So in real life, that requires putting the actor on a spinny rolly chair, moving lights around him to kind of keep the lighting consistent as he spins, um, and putting it all on a green screen so we can transition the background behind him. Today is the first day of shooting for Anamnesis. We're shooting a very quick scene with uh, Nathan, who plays uh, Isaac in the series. Here we're back at Greg Walther's house, a location that you may have seen if you've watched any of our final films from last year. I'm playing Detective Isaac, and uh, this is a pretty short little bit um, when I get woken up, a uh, phone call from Vera. Um, so yeah, it's a short one. I'm excited though. Um, yeah. Oh, Mar Marcus, do you got the slate? Should I be actually working on the slate? Slate's yeah. in here. Yeah. Or whoever, whoever can be on slate, you can slate for it. It's a uh, scene 3.3.20. And action. Ring. This is still though where I'm. Uh, Am I thinking I'm crazy? So today we're filming a bunch of shots with Noah at his beach house. We're at uh, our good friend Olivia's family's beach house in Oceanside. It's uh, raining today, which is pretty cool because the weather is crazy and it's raining and the waves are crashing right outside the house. Uh, but not good for filming. So we're filming a bunch of interior stuff. We're filming Noah going in the kitchen. If the rain lets up for a little bit, we're going to run outside and shoot Noah running out into his front yard area. <laughs> like there's a way to do this. To rain. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So we're trying to get this shot off before it starts raining and it's starting to rain. So we're hoping it doesn't start pouring and taking preliminary measures to keep the camera kind of dry anyway. Maybe if I like throw it. I don't know if people do this. Oh, yeah, if we can go over it. alive, running in and out. Okay. Now I just need to make this stay. It might have to have this way, but just see how. Ready, Terrence? Let's roll sound. Really? Detective, I got the footage. And you're going to want to see what's on it. Yeah, I'm on the horn. Will you just... <laughs> on the Stop. horn. <laughs> Can you hear yourself it's in the headphones? It's just such a specific, like, mm -hmm. when you drink Goldschlager... Harder? You're, you're, going, you're going for it. Please. Oh, I don't have it. All right. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Gus is always coming by making trouble. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> we're in Minnesota. <laughs> Bunch of troublemakers. <laughs> Just a bunch of troublemakers. Oh, can I borrow your snowshoes? Yeah, yeah. sure, Gus. <laughs> I'm Dylan Saunders. I play Gus in Anamnesis. And uh, today I'm being real creepy. Knocking on doors, stealing food, all kinds of fun stuff like that. Cut. Nice. I think with the um, grabbing of the glass, you can make it more... Um... So this scene uh, is, is literally just the exact same dialogue, but but this time, but this time he starts just like running away. So basically, I think I think the first part can be exactly the same, like where he kind of landed last time with the patronizing. But as soon as you see him and say, and as soon as you see him, even before you say what's wrong, he's like running. Okay. So it's more of like alarmed at that point. Okay. Like, I'm Kate going? Walker, and this is my first day on set. I'm yeah. playing Nina, who is Noah's wife. Uh, yeah, just here for the next couple days, shooting a lot of scenes in the kitchen. <laughs> I 
just takes some listening. I, I do play a little bit, but I don't read very well. Yeah. So I just have to listen to it and then pick out the notes if I have uh, another week to practice. <laughs> so thankfully. That might. Should we, should we bring the end closer? So a couple weeks ago, we filmed a dolly shot in the hallway over there um, with a green screen at the end because we basically want a shot in the hallway to end in this room. We have Michael here dollying in on the green screen at a very specific rate that he could match later. So he found that the best way to do that was actually to listen to a Kanye West song and match his footsteps to uh, the beat. So basically he's gonna try to recreate his exact uh, pace moving forward again now in this room so the green screen shot can have the same perspective and speed as the hallway shot. So I feel like still when you land and you like get your first place it should be like one direction and then after a few moments there you can like float around. Okay. I feel like we need to find a POV shot, maybe not even on the street, that feels more desolate and like actually strange. And the street right now doesn't feel that way to me. Cool. That's it. This is not going to be good. No. <laughs> <laughs> Closer. Right, right, right. Yeah, that is scary. <laughs> they just said, yeah, that's scary. Okay. The little boy's making a sandcastle. Today is our last Oceanside date, and it's our first time ever doing a beach scene that's uh, all day on the beach. And so it's been proving difficult, but as we expected, just as far as the tide coming way in and making us have to shift our position a whole bunch of times, we have a prop that we're burying under the sand. So we've been having to move that around a whole lot. Um, had a few co close calls, waves, hitting gear. Uh, it's been a very different uh, feel today. We haven't actually had a full day, I think, like outdoors yet in the shoot. The usual problems of uh, a lot of sound issues that Daniel's been very good at working with. There have been trains going about by. There was a very loud boat that was going very slowly. Cut! That's a wrap from the beach house. Woo! Today we're at the office filming the office scene. We've completely taken the Finite Films office and changed it to Spalding's office. Spalding is not a filmmaker, so we've had to basically gut everything in the Finite Films office and put fake things in everywhere. So if you look down this hallway, you'll see all of our normal Finite Films things. And if you look inside, there's completely new things everywhere. We are in Silver Dream Factory, and we're doing the hospital scene. And we're on this fun, fancy set, which is so cool. We're moving on up every day. <laughs> I love it. It's very exciting. Today is our first day filming on like an actual set, like on a sound stage in a studio. Uh, so it's pretty cool. And so far, it's going very well. It's nice to not have to worry about like cars passing or people yelling outside or just having control <laughs> over the environment is fun. Blue on the world, I'm saying what I think. Blue on the feelings that live inside me. Does that come off the wall easily? Or is it just good for Brian, can you tell me more about what the scene's about today? Well, it's about clean filing cabinets. <laughs> Ten more days left. 
Yeah, it's been a while. We did a big shoot to Santa Barbara, um, which was four days straight in outdoor locations in Santa Barbara, which was kind of nuts because it was just all outdoors all the time. Uh, but it was really fun. It was an adventure. And then back in LA, we've been doing some interesting shoots at an old location from the original Anamnesis, which was the copy store where Adam was murdered. And now we're back at the office building where we had the long take in Anamnesis. Today we are shooting office scenes with uh, Spaulding and Sean. It's a night shoot. Um, it's about 10.30, around 11. We're gonna be going till about five. Um, I'm just trying to conserve my energy. I'm not really tired, because I'm not allowed to be tired yet. All right, we're good to go? I'm ready. We are starting that way. Yeah, we're gonna be turning towards where Bradley's right now. Cool. Um, so, roll set. Make sure you're ready to fly. So this location, this restaurant that we're at, is uh, called Said Tea Thai Eatery in Glendale. And they were very kind and let us come in on a Sunday when they were closed and shoot our little half of a scene here. All right, roll sound. Two twenty nine Aries, take four. And since, you know, Anamnesis is clearly dealing with dreams, and that was something that, like in the short film, there was a lot of Adam jumping between different locations. That's sort of something that we're doing in the series, and so this is one of those instances where he dream teleports to a completely different location. Outside of his house, we shot him, like, doing one half turn to face away from the camera, and then on his turn back to face the camera, we're cutting to him doing that same motion in this new space. Yeah. Yeah, just trying to come back into that headspace where I was then and match that. That's the the harder thing. And then well, I don't I don't know. It's a it's a mixed bag. It's that plus then having to get the technical part right, the actual exact turn. Just try to put myself back at what what that was like 3 weeks ago. Yeah. And then uh and make sure I, I kind of had the same emotion. I'm currently on uh, jib guard duty and uh, guarding Terrence's camera. We've only got one shot done. I'm sure we are behind at this point. Are we behind? Yeah, okay, we're behind. This is day two of the office shoot, uh, day 26 overall of production. It's the first scene where we officially meet uh, Brian Monahan, Dr. Spaulding, in the show. It's also, ironically, his last day of shooting. Yes, hi. I'm Brian Patrick Monahan. We're here doing a scene for Anamnesis where I, the meek and mild-mannered Dr. Leo Spaulding, am greeting a patient as she comes in the door with uh, my assistant. Wow, I'm impressed you can remember your dreams so long after waking up. I don't know. Hi, Hannah. Hey, Dr. Spaulding, how are you? I'm great. This is Sean. For their eye lines, I mean, so they have right, something yeah. moving to look at, right. so it looks good. Shall we? Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Come on in. Let me show you around the place. Uh, we've got bike racks over here with a whole series of bikes. I like to have lots of options on how I ride to work in the morning. Uh, sitting area, which you can't really sit on right now. I apologize for the mess. So this is where my bed normally is, uh, but we had to move the bed into that room. Like, this is my end table, uh, and uh, every night I always make sure to keep a glass of water, um, and I keep my glasses here uh, for when I go to bed. It's just part of my ritual, part of my routine. I don't actually keep my journal next to the bed because I like to do my journaling with my morning coffee. We're going to get the, that kind of classic shot where somebody opens a cabinet and reaches in, but the camera is actually inside, and Garrett built us a uh, cabinet door, so we're setting it up. So I just mainly had to get some the right wood and stain it and um, cut it down to size, and then we're going to put it on some hinges. Action. Slower? Yeah, slower. That's funny. Hey! There's a camera in the cabinet. Basically, it's a story of this set up. I want to watch this movie. Or I could, yeah, because I have like this as an overnight bag. Hi, I'm Adele Watkins. I'll be playing Adria. 
uh, Hannah's best friend. Right now we're blocking and lighting and um, just sort of going over the stage space and figuring out what we're working with. I don't think it'll be a very long night. I think it's a pretty quick shoot tonight. I'm pretty excited about it. Today is the last day of principal photography for Anamnesis. Are we still calling it that? I don't know. It's, it's day 31 of the like, I feel like Diner's, wanted Diner's pretty principal. I agree. I didn't know what you wanted. This is day 31 of 34. This is a, the second location that makes up Hannah's apartment. So we're here in the North Hollywood area in Hannah's bedroom. We're just shooting a few scenes that take place with her and Adria, and then sort of Hannah uh, by herself going through some of her you know, pictures and stuff. And we're actually filming one of the pretty much first shots of the uh, series today. So that's what we're doing. It's a dream diner. Mm-hmm. Um. This is, we made here. This is our like. It's our spot. This is our dream dating place. Tonight we're shooting just looks. What do you mean by just looks? So we were in Northern California for our uh, last weekend of shooting for Anamnesis. We are uh, on night two. We're here for three nights. We did a a little bit yesterday, some visual effects shots. And so tonight and tomorrow night are just the two of them at the diner booth. And we're going from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. because that's when we can be here at this awesome diner location. We are finishing principal photography today. Now that we wouldn't be wrapping, like, I think we say this for the last time, like, okay, like, so I... I'm kind of sad, is like, like, you know, so I, I won't have this to look forward to like anymore. Wide enough to show but at the same time, I feel like, yeah, a good sense of accomplishment. Like, it's been a long shoot, it's been a long process. Everybody's put in a lot of hard work. I feel tired, so it makes sense that it's the last day, <laughs> I guess. Um, I think subconsciously, I knew that it was the last day. I think I felt a little sad without knowing why. We were filming, like, the diner scene, which for so long just because of circumstance was being delayed and pushed back and it was kind of the last thing we had on the docket and so seeing it all come to fruition and which will be finished tonight was kind of surreal and I was like wow this is it like this is the thing that we're like oh once we finish this it'll be done yeah although it's not actually the last last day um, for me at least because we still have to do some green screen shots or something so one more I mean, just a small one so we're doing the shot that we did a visual effects test for a few months ago, which is uh, Sean uh, standing in his room, the camera spins around him, and as it spins around him, he dream teleports to another location. Shot those background plates, took lots of measurements, and now we're replicating uh, the movement and lighting of those two shots, but combining them together and shooting him against a green screen so that when we composite him in, It'll look like he's standing in one place and the camera's spinning around and transporting him. 9, 10, 11, 12. Nice. Thanks. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. That is a wrap on Anamnesis. <laughs>
It's Memorial Day, and uh, we are in the home of composer Brian Ricker. Uh, he's about to show us some of the music he's composed for, I think, episodes four and five. The last few weeks we've been going through and hearing kind of his first uh, ideas for all the different scenes. Sometimes uh, we can get really nitpicky, and myself especially. Uh, you know, so Brian's very good and very patient with us. There's like, I think there's like a couple like percussion sounds. Yeah. That keep popping up that like sound they're, kind they're of like too loud. Yeah. CO to me. I know, totally. Like, Like as we cut as to the Nina, as we were like playing away from Nina. Sure. So yeah. having it started to crescendo earlier. Yeah. I will go back and go through all the cues again, uh, taking all the notes into consideration and rewrite them basically. And that's what we'll be doing until uh, someone says, hey, we need the movie right now. <laughs> and then that's when I'll bounce all the cues and send them their way. <laughs> Yeah, like, whatever this is has kind of a really nice and easy tone. <laughs> it doesn't feel episodic as, as I'm watching it or, or as I'm composing the music or anything, um, except for just like the little cliffhanger cues at, at the end of the, the episodes, you know, but yeah. Besides that, it really does feel like I'm just composing for a movie, you know. So today is sort of all about starting the race to the finish for Anamesis. Uh, it's going to be uh, an all-day set of meetings. Right now we're at Brian Ricker's house going over the latest music cues. And then right after this we're going to El Segundo to meet with Dana Clark, the sound supervisor, to hear all of his sound mixes and sound edits. And then after spending a few hours doing that, we're going over to David's place to review all the color and finalize all the color correction for Anabasis. So it's a very full day. Basically, our goal is to have it done in a week from now. Uh, so it looks like a lot of things are on track for that, but that's sort of why this week is going to be the crazy race to the finish. It's finalizing every tiny little tweak, getting all the ADR placed. Okay. Rolling. Maybe it's better not to know. Maybe it's better not to know. Making sure the sound is mixed and perfect. And uh, so hopefully in the next week, two weeks, like everything should be completed. Peace. Mm -hmm. 